All right, you guys, welcome back to CrossFit Bellingham here at Pro Fitness Northwest. Today is Thursday, April 30th, the end of the month. So let's get warmed up. Five minutes, run, row, jump, or burpees. Take your pick today. After that, I want you to do 20 total lunge and twists, 20 total caustic squats. If you forgot what that was, don't worry, we're going to go over it. 10 hollow ups, 10 supers. Go through that two times for me, okay? Your wad. This whole thing is going to be four times, so make sure you record down your time. That way we know what's going on today. Your buy-in, so that means you're going to start 50 mountain climbers. That's going to be on each side, okay? From there, because we're still in that full Murph prep, it's going to be the eight rounds of a 200-meter run and then 40 air squats. Don't do the math. Save that till for the end. Once you get through your eight rounds, your cash out with another 50 mountain climbers, hit pause on your stopwatch, and that's going to be your time for the day. From there, your durability, 10 cacti's, 10 pelvic tilts, three times through, and then right on into your recovery. Again, two to three minutes. Go ahead and go a little bit longer, okay? Forward fold, low runner's lunge, and as usual, hitting that low yogi squat, really making sure that you spend a lot of time down there. Let's go see what this one's going to look like. All right, you guys, after you get through that five minutes on your run, row, jump, or burpees, you're going to go into 20 total lunge and twist. So lunge down, lightly touch your knee to the floor, twist towards the side that is up. Once you get through 20 of those, you're going to do 20 total Cossack squats. So you're going to go into a nice, big, wide side lunge. You can go from one side. Go ahead and rotating your foot if you need to, trying to hit that full depth. Beautiful, Christy. Once you get through 10 on each side, or 20 total, you're going to hit the floor for 10 hollow-ups. And with this one, again, you guys know it, but really focus on pushing your low back into the ground, lifting your shoulders and your pointed toes off the ground. From there, just roll on over to your stomach, and you're going to do 10 super-ups. And again, pinch your shoulder blades, squeeze your butt ever so lightly, lifting your body. Those are nice super rocks, Christy, but we're just doing the supers. Just pinching up and then right back down. There we go. And then up and down, just like that. I want you to cycle through that whole thing two times through, and you can do some bonus points with some hollow or some super rocks if you want. All right, time for your wad. So this whole thing is going to be four time, starting with your buy-in of 50 mountain climbers each. So that's be 50 on each side, just like Christy's doing. I don't know how she does it so pretty, but she does. From there, you're gonna go right into your 200 meter run. You're gonna come back from your 200 meter run and you're gonna knock out 40 air squats, really making sure that your butt is going back and your hip crease is getting below the top of your knees. Once you knock through 40 air squats, you're gonna go back on your 200 meter run and then back inside for your 40 air squats. Once you get through eight rounds of that, you're gonna cash out with your 50 mountain climbers, just like Christy's doing. And again, this is gonna be each. Beautiful, Christy, and time. All right, time for your durability. You're gonna be starting with 10 cat cows. So this is all about extension and flexion through your spine, really focusing on looking up towards the ceiling and then trying to get your back up towards the ceiling, just like Christy's doing. Once you knock out 10 or so cat cows, you're gonna roll on over and you're gonna work on 10 pelvic tilts. So you're gonna get in that hip bridge position, except all you're gonna do is try and get your hips to your rib cage, trying to close that gap. It's a nice small movement, but you're gonna feel it when you do it right. I want you to do both of those movements 10 times, three times through. Excellent work, Christy. All right, time for everybody's favorite, starting with your forward fold. You can spend about two to three minutes in each position. Nice, big, deep breaths. From your fold, you're gonna walk out into a low runner's lunge. And this is gonna be on each side. Really focus on trying to keep your chest up and get your hips as low as you can on each side. From there, you're just gonna pop up into your low yogi squat. Like I said before, you guys, I want everybody to have a beautiful squat by the time you get back in the gym, just like Christie's. So if it doesn't look like Christy, do more low yogi squats. Good work. All right, now that you know what you're doing today, 
Make sure that you record down your time in the comments below with your name, because we don't always know what your screen name is gonna be. And of course, if you have any questions or concerns, check the comments below for any scaling options. And if you still have a question, you can contact either Christy, Chad, or myself, and we can get you sorted out. All right, without further ado, start your time. Let's have fun with this one. Three, two, one.